was. All the ones that's always up underneath you, I was there. Like, I don't understand, like, why it's like they want me to look like I'm somebody. Like, it's like they want to look like I'm somebody that literally is like, oh, he's just a bad apple. I was a bad apple. I, they mad at me and they slander me saying that I was a bad apple because I said I didn't physically abuse anybody like Monica did. I didn't do drugs like Andy did. I didn't sleep with athletes like Andy did. And these aren't things that I heard. These are things that I witnessed. I saw it and I have the proof to prove it. So while everybody's sitting here talking about Ladarius, 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 baby, if the worst thing that you can say is that I was, I, I snapped a little bit on people. These are people that, it's a, it's a competition. Like <laughs> it's Daytona season. And if you're crying about something that everybody else is hurting, like we all hurting, my ankle hurt, my knee hurt. Everybody say that. Everybody say that. Everybody does that. Everybody's hurting. And you guys choose to say, oh, but Ladarius, but Ladarius, Matty Brum, you tried to talk about how I was lying. And the very people that you was best friends with that went to TVCC this year because they got kicked off. And they was like, Ladarius, I apologize because they lied. They lied. They made it. They painted the picture like it was perfect. So, yes, I'm always on people's neck because what y'all don't understand is, oh, he did sleep with many athletes. And some of them are on the show. So, like, if we're going to call a spade a spade, if y'all want me to be this person, then I'll be it for you then. Let's do it then. Let's do it. Y'all was, was so hell-bent on Sam and the whole situation with me and Sam. And I was telling y'all this nigga was doing drugs. I was like, he smoking weed. TT's talking about some, well, he just lost his mother. I was like, I lost my uncle. Did I drink or did I do drugs? Yes, we all handle things differently. But that's something that Monica has always preached to us. That's a non-tolerance. But it wasn't a non-tolerance for him, though. He got away with it, but the black people get kicked off, though. How does that make sense to y'all? But I can choke, though, TT. I can choke. The one that's always been there for you. That kept everything between me and you, between me and you. Wore the wood, wigs. I mean, I tried to get you, put you on with me. And you sided with the same people that was talking shit about you, bitch. And you lost. See, one thing about people that believe in God and truly believe in God and want the best for the Chilean community. He gonna always keep them anointed. He never gonna play with them. They played themselves when they said the stuff that they said about me. Because the whole dog situation, I didn't quit Navarro because of that. I actually quit two weeks after that whole situation because Monica knew that these kids were on this live saying that I sexually assaulted and was saying that I wanted to rape them. And I'm going to say their names. I'm going to say their names. So when Justin was talking about Justin Hensley, talking about I was wanting to rape him, buddy, weren't you the same person that was literally touching my penis at practice and Monica had to call us both out during Hell Week because we were playing around like boys do? But now it's rape now because you, you want to defend her, but she was literally touching me and got called out for it while your mom was there. Why well, wasn't it a problem two years ago, but it is now. So you can touch me and we can play and fool around, but then you want to come around and say, no, he said this. Why would, why would I want to do something like that when I've been through something like that? So and let's get to Ireland. Your daddy was right. Yeah, all those cheerleaders, they did talk to me about it. Ireland, they was right about your daddy. Your daddy, he, he spent some real, real stuff about that. Because you lied and said that I tried to sexually assault you. First off, I'm a black man and you are a white woman. And the fact that you could even utter those words knowing that I've been through sexual assault is beyond me. But you know what? I'm so glad that I have Snapchat and I'm so glad that I, they have memories, boo. So I'm in a red 40 inch wig slaying the girls with a crop top on when I just got my dog. And we with 25 other people. How would I in my life? How would I even have the time? For nobody to see anything in a hotel that has two beds, no doors. But you know what? I got the proof of it, though. Because you tried to lie. You tried to get me kicked off. Yeah. 
It didn't work. Just like when Kaylee called me two days ago. And she said, Monica was like, wait till he leaves. Because if, if, if I was so bad, y'all, why didn't she kick me off? Why did I leave? If I was so bad and negative, why did I have all the years at Navarro that I had? Why were the alumni trying to silence me? Why was I be why was I still able to be a part of the show if I was so negative and toxic? Cause Capena got kicked off. Hell, even Andy and them got kicked off. But I didn't though. That's not ringing a bell to y'all. <laughs> you were mad, Monica, because he was saying all these hurtful things about me. Did I lie? When you choked Sid, so that was a lie. So if I told them to go run them cameras back at the give, it would show that you didn't choke him, right? Or am I still lying? When you choked Corbin, that was a lie, right? Pull it up at CTA with the cameras unless their cameras don't work now. What would I need to lie about? You got coaches and pedophiles surrounding us. You got Dawson, who everybody knew and I told you about. When I first saw him, I was like, he was sleeping with Harrison before Harrison was even grown. He was coaching this man since he was a freaking kid. And you come in and bringing him into our life, knowing that I am traumatized by that type of stuff, He's just doing our choreography. I don't give a damn. I don't care. You need to do what's right. And nobody wanted to do what's right. So I had to. I've been talking about injustice and all types of coaches using their authority over people to play people. To make them seem certain types of ways to fit the narrative that they want them to fit. But you won't do it with me. Not me. You met your match when you kept me, baby. And it is what it is. I was negative. I didn't drug. I didn't. I didn't do drugs with athletes. I didn't choke athletes. I didn't make them get on a, a freaking Weight Watcher looking thing to make sure they was the weight ninety eight pounds. I didn't do any of those things. I didn't drink or have sex with them. So I'm the I'm the bad one. I'm the worst one. And let's get into the real tea. The reason they didn't show that stuff on TV and the reason why they didn't show it on Cheer is because they said they didn't want Monica to look that bad. But they, it's a documentary talking about the truth of what happens in cheerleading. And we didn't get that. Y'all made a whole episode about Jerry making it seem like we should feel bad for somebody. I don't feel bad for anybody who knew the age of them children and then proceeded to pay them. Are you crazy? Y'all, woe is me. I don't care. You don't do that to children. They were 13 years old. But I'm the bad one. I'm the one everybody don't like. The reason why me and Jada from TVCC are best friends because we are alike. We have a goal and we're not going to allow anybody and everybody else little issues to get in front of that. Like I always said, you played yourself when you went against me. I told y'all. It was always about a ring. I even tweeted it. I said, them, them, a ring is more important than your morals. And God took it away. So now you look stupid for backing the very person that is the problem with Navarro in the first place. When I went and I told those cops and I told all the people, they all let me down. Every single one of them. Navarro itself let me down. Because I went up there and I talked to that very white man that was talking about some, he's doing it for money. Told him everything that I'm telling y'all. And he in the show talking about me. Girl, you gotta be crazy. You the same man that didn't even like the cheerleaders in the first place. Didn't even like us. Didn't even want us on the basketball court. That, that same man that hated the cheerleaders. And now you all in their face. Maybe, sir, it was you who wanted to be on TV. And if we really want to be honest, if it wasn't for me even going viral, that documentary wouldn't even be fucking happening. So while you sitting here talking about some, he's doing it for TV, bitch, I am the TV. Bitch, that, that's, that's authentic. That's me. I am fun. I am living. I am live. I don't, I don't care. I'm just here to tell everybody why 
why why everybody like why everybody is trying to say like Ladarius, Ladarius, Ladarius. The bridges are definitely burned. She burnt that when they lied. When they lied on that Zoom call trying to get me kicked off, please. That's when it was burned. When she said, I didn't know, I didn't know, and then admitted that she did know when she called me two days ago. Exactly, ma'am. You did know. You know what you're doing. You play like you're blind, but you're not blind. It's the I fight tooth and nail for my children, but I actually don't for me. I'm sorry. I have a voice now. Y'all are not going to keep silencing me and saying stuff like, well, Ladarius, just don't say anything about it because you're going to lose endorsements. They're, they're not going to want to pay for you. You know what? That's okay. Because God going to pay for me. God got me. Because what would I need to lie about? I done put my blood, sweat, and tears into that program for y'all to act like I'm the problem. I'm the problem for holding people accountable, including Monica, when she came back from Dancing with the Stars, cussing at everybody, acting like she ain't got no sense. And I was the only person to stand up to her and say, Monica, you don't have to talk to us that way. I understand that you are, un like, you are irritated about the whole smoking weed situation that she never got to the bottom of because she didn't listen to what I was trying to tell her. But she took it out on all of us. But I told her, no, you're not going to treat us like that. You just got back. You literally was MIA. You didn't talk to nobody. So how are you going to come back trying to run stuff when you've been gone? When we, we, We've we been trying to tell you that these kids and these coaches doing this, but you didn't want to believe us. Girl. They turned their back on me. And Karma said, I'm here, bitch. Because the very dude that was sitting there talking about some, well, Ladarius and them came back, you right. I did come back. I sure did. Because I love Navarro. I did. I sure did love it. All the alumni that was like, Ladarius, you're going about it the wrong way. You're going about it the wrong way. How am I going about it the wrong way? Y'all all defending the same person that y'all literally were talking about that I even sent the receipts on Twitter. Was scrolling through all of the stuff that this woman has done throughout her years. But I was going about the wrong way. Y'all let an abuser manipulate you with them crocodile tears and that victim stuff. <laughs> y'all, like she manipulated y'all. And y'all still back in the vet. She's queen, she's queen. A queen knows how to stand on their own. That's the difference. A queen will stand on her word and stand on it. That's what a queen does. A queen does it the right way. A queen fights for the people who ain't got a voice to fight for themselves. That was a bully. And everybody's like, Ladarius, you're a traitor. I ain't no traitor. I ain't no traitor. Everybody always talking and cheer about all the stuff that's happening. Well, now I'm here to tell it. The pedophiles that's in cheerleading got to go. There is choreographers that are on the list of people that should not be around anybody's children. And yet they're still in a job. So we keep quiet about it, but who gonna actually say something about it? Who gonna actually do something about it? I went to Daytona because they called me and told me to come. I didn't come because I wanted to go. I did not care. Because what, like, I wasn't apologizing to Monica in that scene because they cut it. I wasn't apologizing for what I said because I didn't lie. I was apologizing because she was talking about how the kid, like people were sending her death threats. That's what I was apologizing for. But when I started going like this and starting to get into why I was mad, she came and jumped on my lap. When, like, why would you jump on somebody's lap? She knows that they're recording. She knows that I'm not going to be rude because they already told me upon meeting her and having that conversation with her to go easy on her because she just lost. And me having the heart to even come, even despite all the lies that they told about me, that was me being a, a team player for the people that I loved. The teammates that actually did have my back. The ones that made sure that I was okay. That called me and was like, Ladarius, I'm so sorry that this is happening. That's why I posted, watch closely to my face. I did not want to hug her. Because I knew what she was doing. They, made, they cared about more fame than they cared about cheerleading. TVCC was right. They were not focused. The only one that was, was me.
That's why she didn't want to talk about it. That's why they didn't want it to be posted on the show. That's why they was trying so hard to get rid of me. Because I'm going to be the one to tell it all. And I'm going to tell the truth because you're not going to play with my name. Like, I'm just being honest. The same people we told her about Andy years prior. The first year I was there, we told her about him sleeping with athletes and doing drugs with the athletes. It ain't no secret. Anybody who knows him knows that. That was never a secret. Anybody who knows Monica know that she was abusive. Mentally and physically. Did y'all see how hard it was for me to say, no, Monica, I don't see you as abusive. When I knew the truth is because they told me to go easy on this woman. And she was crying and I hate to kick somebody when they down. This is my real life. That money stuff, it come and go, baby. <laughs> it come and go. It don't matter to me. Because I got my dogs, my animals, all my animals. The people that I love, I got them with me. I don't physically, physically. So when everybody's sitting here talking about some, but well, Darius, you're the, you're the bad apple. I was the bad apple. Or was I the bad apple because I was calling even the coaches out for the misconduct that was happening in that college? I am I am explaining it very accurately. And if you don't believe me, you can go straight to the Gib and you can go to the police reports and you can go straight into and pull up the videos. Where the FBI? The same ones that got Jerry, I want them to come and get them. Because, baby, it, 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 what would I got to lie about? I can stand on it. I can stand in front of God, in front of all of the judges in the Supreme Court, and I'll say the same thing because I ain't got nothing to lie about. <laughs> So the people that still like, that's the thing. Y'all not, y'all not hearing what I'm saying to you. Everybody loved Jerry and didn't know his secrets. Hell, I loved him. Didn't even know what the fuck he was doing. But y'all got to see the truth. But with Monica, y'all going to hear about it because that's who she is. When they talk about Annette, that's who Annette is. The uh, physically abusive one. Like, people who don't believe me, they don't believe me. But once all these other alumni start coming, about, coming out and start talking about the stuff, y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. You can sleep as much as you want. On me, that's fine by me. Because I'm gonna always stand up for Ladarius. Nobody stood up for me. Nobody defended me. Nobody was there for me. Not one person, not a single soul. And I'm talking about all the years that I was at Navarro. But I was always there for everybody else. That takes a toll on somebody. Oh, it does take very much a toll on somebody. And no, I'm not even angry. I'm just telling the truth. I'm spitting it how they were spitting it. If we, if we, if we going to depict something, we're going to tell the whole truth about it. And if I could sit in front of Monica's face, just like I sat in front of her face then, that they didn't air, and I'll say it again. I don't give a fuck. You're not going to lie on my name. You're not going to paint me out to be somebody that's money hungry. Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Not once have I ever talked about anything about I need to be around the most famous people like the people that was hanging up underneath you. I made the map because I was very talented, baby. And you knew that. Y'all let them talk about me and you let them people constantly come for me, come for me. I was, I was reprimanded for how I reacted to it, but nobody was reprimanded for what they did. So they can throw ice and they can throw shade and they can lie on my name about serious allegations, but no, nothing is said to them nationally on television. But it's said to me when I react. <laughs> it is what it is. You're the same coach, Monica. You're the same coach that literally told a girl and I ain't gonna say her name. Told a girl to sleep with a boy in order to get him on our team. And when he sent that stuff in our group chat, he still didn't come. And this is the person that we're supposed to idolize and call the queen. You're willing to let your athletes sleep with people to make a team. 
and you think you the good apple? You think you the good person? You think you look good? Ma'am, please. If these cheerleaders actually told the truth and stop hiding underneath your dick and your ass, then maybe everybody would see the truth. I don't care. I don't feel bad. I didn't feel bad for what I said, and I'm going to stand 10 toes down on it. Always. <laughs> it is what it is. They going to always hate me. That's fine. You can hate me as much as you want. Because I'm the only person that actually cared about that place. I was the only person trying to get rid of Andy because I was telling her from year one, this man is not the man that you think he is. I was the same person telling you that Kaylee was annoying me and she kept bothering me and she kept saying, well, I'm going to give this boy your spot. Why, as a coach, would you say you're going to give this boy my spot when you know he doesn't hold a candle to me? And then laugh in my face. Y'all both laughed at me, right? Y'all laughed in my face saying, in your words, oh, he does it better. I was like, nobody does it better than what is. That's why once I left, it was boring. There was no energy. Because you can't fake energy like mine, baby. You can try to you can try to be like it, but you'll never be the one and only. Why would I flirt? Why would I flirt with a minor? Are you stupid? Are you crazy? You need help. And if I lied about everything, then why are the assistant coaches gone? Me and Kaylee, we were cool, but I don't do fake. And they're all fake. How are you talking shit about Monica on a phone call with me and then post her an hour later talking about some, oh my God, like, I love her. That's my best friend. That's the queen. I'm like, bitch, you just was dogging that bitch. And now you're coming on and saying, I, I don't, I, that's why I don't like them. Because I hate the fakery. I can't be around it. I don't care if her husband was in law enforcement. If honestly, if anything, if you really cared about your wife, don't you think you would actually do a thorough investigation? Oh, okay. But you can talk shit about me. Because if I, un if I unleash the clip of the shit that was what happened between me and your son, bitch, you wouldn't be sitting on your high horse right now. So while y'all keep talking all this shit about me, realize that, bitch, I recorded any goddamn conversation I got. Bitch, I don't need to lie. Oh, okay. Some people I just, I just, I just don't talk to. Some people you just not going to like. That's, that's just the honest truth. You're not going to like everybody. That is life. But you should never be forced to... Talk to them outside of practice. Bitch, if we in practice and you doing something wrong and I'm like, okay, you need to fix this and you need help or we need to do something together, of course I'm going to talk to you. But outside of cheerleading, baby, we ain't got nothing to talk about. They did turn their back. And that's okay. Because it showed me who my real friends were. <laughs> it showed me. And it is what it is. Was I hurt? Of course I was. But it is what it is. Because the people in your corner, they're going to always ride for you. And all the people that was in my corner weren't even the people that I thought it was. They played it. They played y'all. Y'all y'all out there eating it up. And I'm okay. Like, I am okay. I'm not worried about it. Because I went to therapy. They, I told them the same story. And no, nothing changes. Because from start to finish, bitch, I got a timeline. It is what it is. I, lo I loved the good moments. But what you will not do is play with Ladarius Marshall. You're not going to play with me. They were like, I had some really good friends that stood up for me. And they was like, Ladarius, I'm here for you. And I had people turn their back on me. But that's okay.
It is what it is. They didn't want that truth to come out. And I was trying to be sweet and nice. I gave it a couple of days. I had to really think through and not respond with anger. Because normally I'm like, I'll just stab at that. I don't need that. They lied on me. And I told the truth about them. There's a difference. All the people who watch the show, I want you to know, I honestly was doing what was best for that place. They can spin it how they want. They can say it and try to drag me as much as they want, but they know I was the backbone. They know that I was the glue. And when that glue left, everything fell apart. You got to protect children. I don't see enough of people not protecting children in this place. We are surrounded by people who are literally predators and nobody bats an eye about it. They say, oh, no, this is our choreographer. This is our person. Like, no. People didn't even stand up for those kids. One of them, one of them followed me on Twitter and the other one commented on my Instagram. And I felt so bad for them. And the fact that people are sitting there trying to paint me as the bad person. You have a whole episode of the same people that's calling me a bad apple defending somebody who was messing with children. Nobody has ever had Ladarius as bad. Nobody stood up for Ladarius. I've always defended Ladarius in every single action. I'm always the one that's apologizing to people for them hurting me. Why am I apologizing to somebody that hurt me? I finally learned how to stop doing that. Because some people don't deserve your apology. Some people don't even deserve your energy or your, like, your existence. They tried to play me. And that's fine. Because you know what? That fame got to your head. It don't get to my head. I know I'm that bitch. Hell, I, the second I started loving myself when I came out about being bi, I always said I'm going to always be that bitch. I would never allow myself to fall. I would never allow myself to not have morals in life. I would never not do what, like, I would never not do what is best for myself and for other people. Period. Whoever Sawyer is, Period. Some people don't deserve that. I'm not salty. I, I didn't want to be an assistant coach. I never wanted to be an assistant coach, y'all. Like, I don't understand why everybody keeps trying to say that. I never wanted to be an assistant coach. It was never about me wanting to be an assistant coach. It was never about Dancing with the Stars. It was about the physical abuse and stuff that was happening from Monica on down to Kaylee. All of it. So... If we're gonna call a spade a spade, let's tell the truth. It was never, it was never about Dancing with the Stars. It was never about the dog situation. It was never about any of that stuff. It was plain and simple. Abuse, physically, mentally, emotionally, from Monica. The sexual stuff that Andy was doing, that we are literally, we have to be on USASF to even talk about that type of stuff. Like that's a whole class that we gotta take. He didn't give a fuck. He was drinking and doing drugs with the athletes. So for me, I think I've kind of turned out pretty good. I, I, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I didn't fall into that drinking and partying with everybody. I'm proud of myself. I didn't go to, I went to three parties the whole time I was there. And that was three years worth, three and a half years worth. I didn't stay, I quit in January, baby. Like, I quit now. Like, right now, a year ago, that's when I quit. I didn't quit at Daytona. Don't you think I would have been in more of the show? (laughs) 
Monica didn't physically abuse me. She didn't, but she physically abused other athletes. That's the people that I'm talking about that I was standing up for. Those are the people that I was talking about. I was like, Monica, you got to check yourself because you're talking about being accountable, be accountable. Don't you need to be accountable for your actions? Oh, you don't get, so you, so you get to do what you want and you get to treat people how you want and nobody get to say shit to you because you've been there for 26 years. Okay. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, I'm just being, I'm being what nobody else will do. I'm saying what nobody else will say because they're scared of her. I'm not scared, boo. Not in the slightest. And that's probably what bothered you the most is because I'm not going to sit around and call you the queen. I'm not going to sit around and be up under your ass. I'm not that person because you didn't get me. Like, everybody, Monica made you. No, the fuck she didn't. I made Ladarius. When those hard times, when I lost my grandmother and then a couple of months later, I lost my uncle. Nobody was there. That bitch wasn't in my motherfucking dorm coddling me, coddling me like that she was doing the rest of them bitches. I had to pick Ladarius up out of that, that depressive mode. Nobody was there for that other than the two people that I said, Trey Lee and Jay. That was it. Y'all turn a blind eye to all of these people when someone's telling you, hey, these people are doing this. Y'all turn a blind eye to it, and then y'all be like, oh my God, no, I didn't expect this. Bitch, we told you. What you mean you didn't expect it? I but like, like, you can't sit here and say, don't claim, don't claim that you made me, and don't claim that you was doing all of this stuff for me, because you let them bitches dog me, Monica, and you always took their side. You finally apologized four years later, but it was too late, baby. When that girl immediately told you he did not call me fat, and you still scolded me, you didn't listen. And now you're going to listen. And the world gonna listen too. The whole reaction was fake. I, it was bullshit. The bitch was literally talking shit with fucking Landers. And then she wanna cry in front of the whole world. Acting like she missed me. That bitch did not love me. I loved her more than she loved me. I was there for everybody doing everything that I was supposed to. But I was the worst child she ever coached. So all the kids that was doing drugs and drinking and having orgies with each other, that wasn't, that was, oh, oh okay. The, your assistant coaches, them sleeping with athletes and you knowing about it years prior and the year that I, if I, I even said anything about it, that wasn't, that wasn't a bad apple, right? He, when he was doing drugs with them, that wasn't bad. When you were defending the people that was doing drugs, and sleeping with athletes, that wasn't a bad apple, right? But I was a bad apple because I was calling her out about it. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop playing with them. You gonna stop playing with me. That's just the period, point blank. You gonna stop playing with me. It is what it is. That's why a lot of people didn't come back. That's why the whole team damn near knew. And the same people that was talking shit about me in that group chat this year, they called me and they apologized because they said, Ladaris, I know exactly, I see what you're talking about. They manipulated us into thinking that you were just this toxic, negative person. Just like, but when I was there, how they made the boy before me seem like he was toxic and negative. You can't say he's lying and say that he was doing drugs and he was lying about it when I'm literally watching a coach do drugs, literally watching a coach do drugs with TT. At Worlds. And I'm like, you got to connect the dots. No, I don't like Maddie. I never will. Because just like on the show, how in the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm sorry for the little children watching. But just like Maddie, I'm going to be honest. She didn't like me because I was a person that held her accountable. Just like the vets held me accountable when my tumbling was not pretty, when my jumps were not pretty, when my stunts were not pretty. That's just what you do. As a vet, you tell somebody, hey, your feet are not together. You're leaning. You're doing.